tell me what's the difference between technique and grace how far can a technique take you technique is as long as your heart and soul is not aligned with it it will only take you align it properly like earning and gift sorry like earning and gift earning and gift <coughs> fantastic close to it awareness awareness see if like this when you get something so profound that it nullifies all your effort when grace descends it truly nullifies you but how to make that happen is what i am interested in so many people talk about only techniques i i know hundreds of techniques for many lifetimes i've been doing this it is not new to me i could introduce it to so many techniques but can it impart grace into you but please remember this is are we prepared enough to realize this journey so what is the purification mechanism how many if you're interested to purify yourself please raise your hands purify it means action not sofa dhari action you know what people do they sit on the sofa they become philosophers philosophy can may not give you results it will give you more options of how many more problems are there it is like going in front of an astrologer suddenly you discover you have more problems till then all this while mars was not affecting you suddenly mars will start affecting you <laughs> yes so you discovered that there is new ways to find more holes in your system please remember the difference is i all i am suggesting to you right now is to move from your ordinary imaginary struggle to a heightened state of remembering who you are kriya yoga is not just purification process but it is the fastest mechanism to remember who you are and remembrance is is it so difficult yes it is difficult because who is going to unmask those layers big fat layers so tiring right if you have to shift your house in 20 minutes it's not possible you got to slowly pr- start packaging start to believe in all this so that means there is an effort which we cannot discount how many of you are scared of effort tell me scared of effort yes be at least you are honest most people in this world are being given a nice pill it's called chill pill <laughs> <laughs> chill pill means don't do and do anything i doctors will take care of you insurance will take care of you bankers will take care of you you all need to do is slog your ass off in an office so that you can pay for your five star icu yes five star icu that's what we are working when you don't want to take care of yourself five star icus are very interesting in all the hospitals have become like five star hotels now do you agree you go in and see the luxury you'll be baffled by the extent of what is possible on this planet if you're reading for five star i see you don't do anything just wait for your body to decay it will decay fast the earth is spinning faster do you know that did you know that earth is spinning faster the speed of earth is the days are going faster did you notice before you realize before you had so much time for yourself now the same analogic the chronological time but the cosmic time is very different because earth is spinning faster if the earth is spinning faster your time for recovery also is reducing yes or no you don't have so much time to rec- you know wait to press the buttons every by the time you open your eyes to awaken you are already sitting in a very deflated decayed instrument all you press is next button which takes you to the next lifetime how do you want to fast forward your life with imaginary state that you're going to be fine some day that's what most people do i will finish all my earnings and the some fine day i will get back to my spiritual quest to who know who i am this body is phenomenal let me explain this body to you what it can do in a fine tuned state i'm not dis- discussing decayed state i'm discussing a fine tuned state first and foremost this body becomes disease free understand disease free so that you do not have to ever ever feel threatened by this so called big fat extraordinary establishment which is trying to frighten you out of your skin constant worry about health all the hypochondriac sitting wondering which pill will work no more disease 
It is possible to enter into a disease-free instrument. It is possible to enter into an instrument that is capable of being constant. No more yesterday, today, dip and dive. All the time, most people are average instrument is they have a small. The whole life is a misery with small spurts of ex joy. Misery is guaranteed on this planet. Suffering is guaranteed, but bliss happens very small sprinkling. You getting me? So if we are planning for the small bit of sprinkling of bliss, then you don't have to do anything. But if you want to really experience the true extent of this instrument, then you got to work on yourself. Don't be scared to work on yourself, my dears. This body was never meant to be left alone. It was meant to be unraveled. Just tell me, you my friend, if your friend offers you a gift, beautiful gift in a wrapper, <coughs> would you leave it just like that? And say, just my friend has given me a gift. Won't you make the effort of opening that gift? This exactly I'm talking about. This body has to be unraveled. This is a gift given to us, but it is not readily revealed. It has to be opened layer by layer, layer by layer, so that you discover at the core is the essence. It is not. Will you be hap happy with the, only the top layer? No, right? You got to unravel this. It is not easy. First step is never easy. Why? Because first ask you for willingness. The big difference between yes and no. Most people say no to exploration because it takes effort. There is an effort. If it, if you were to just sit there and do nothing, you go back nothing. Just as is you had a good evening, had some food, went back, slept, forgot what you came for. Understand? Please remember this. I am not here to feel, make you feel good for a little while. I have come here on this in this beautiful country of yours to help you remember that life is not just an ordinary struggle but a phenomenal celebration. Do you agree it is possible? Yes? Celebration is not jingoism or whole night headless parties. It is basically the remembrance of a fragrant, powerful celebration instrument. This instrument is capable. I will tell you about this instrument. I am not talking to you as Pradeep. I am talking to you as instrumental language. <coughs> Listen carefully, my friends. If you miss it, you will not understand what it means to be a yogi. Okay? This instrument is capable of receiving radio waves faster than the mobile device. How is it possible? You would be surprised, right? Because I'm talking to you the la your language right now. You have a mobile device, right? I know who has sent me a message before I open it. I know the exact content of the message. I don't have to go and search for those. Reconfirmation happens, it's fine. But the message is received faster than the mobile device. This instrument is capable of hearing light and seeing sound. Hearing light and? It may sound very different, right? Hearing light and seeing sound. That means if the doorbell rings, the light passes through the, through the door, hits the heart, then the sound comes up. That means before even the registration of the sound wave hitting that, it came as a light into the heart, then the doorbell rang. Isn't that interesting? Yes or no? It may sound very esoteric, unattainable. No, it is not. I was not born in a yoga shrama. I was not born in, I was born like all of you. I was sitting in an ordinary family. I was not born in a place where they were drilling me day and night about spirituality. Nobody talked of spirituality in my childhood. All we had was music, Hindustani classical music. Day in and day out, we, we were born with music around us. Every day was music. Music was our spiritual connection. I never visited temples. I never had a, attended a single discourse of people. I never knew a single word of spiritual context of what I am talking about right now. But I was introduced to you by the remembrance of who I am. At the age of one, when I was drinking milk from my mother, I remembered why I am here on this planet. It's possible, right? I remember every single detail in that room where I am. I had that awakening as a one-year-old. And I walk, drive past that home, I show my friends. I exactly know every single detail in that room. So it means there is a remembrance which you have forgotten. We don't know how we pass through the mother's womb, the birthing canal. Most of us have forgotten because we are unaware. This instrument is aware of the birthing canal, what happened in my 
when I was passing through the mother's womb. So that means if you expand your remembrance, you will get to know the source from where everything is happening. The causal instrument where everything is happening. This instrument suddenly can become fragrant for no reason. I do not plant perfumes into this, but imagine if I went for a run and came back, the whole body would be sweat would become perfume. How is it possible sweat becoming perfume? I was zapped because then I remembered Vishuddhananda in, if you read autobiography of yogi, you will see that beautiful master talking about the perfume scent. I said, I'm not sitting in a cave in Himalayas, but I'm, I'm talking about, I was at, for, uh, this is a live example I'm giving you. At 46 degrees temperature in Dubai, I had gone to visit there and I was running in the middle of the street at 2, uh, 2 p.m. in the afternoon. Okay, when I came back home, my whole body was from head to foot of sweat. When I removed my shirt, all was jasmine, completely jasmine. What is the power of this? That means something is doing some magic on me. And what is that magic? That magic is power of purification. All of us have the same ability, my friends. Please do not discount. It can only happen to this instrument. It can happen to you. I am not here to glorify this instrument. I'm not here to try to tell you that, okay, I'm special, you are not. All of us are capable. <coughs> My journey on this planet is to help people derive a superior experience of the beyond the ordinary. Understand? Beyond the ordinary. I've seen miracles happen. What is miracle? Nothing but larger picture of your understanding. If you don't know today what is possible, it's a miracle, right? If it is known to you already, see, please remember this. If you carry a doubt, you'll always be doubtful. If you have trust, you will get phenomenal results. This instrument is capable of receiving direct awareness from the sun. Solar flares what happen, I can feel the solar flares in this head. How? So that means we are all powerful, we have forgotten, we have been gone through a dumbing process called education. At the age of 16, I lost interest in this so-called educational process. By 18, I was bailed out, I ran away to Himalayas. I couldn't bear this limitation of trying to be in that molded classroom of dumbing processes. We are all intelligent when we are born. You look at a baby can solve, a, a five-year-old, you know, little one can do better at puzzles than an adult human. You know that? Did you know that? Don't go and try. Natively, we are all intelligent. We have forgotten. Native intelligence, the creative intelligence is within us. We have forgotten. We introduce ourselves to how to dumb and slow down because we think that we are getting smarter by education. Can education make you health disease free? What is the science of purification? Can you realign this body quickly? <coughs> if I give you 20, 20 minutes time, show me how you do realign this body. I took on so many Himalayan challenges for people. 20 minutes if you cannot determine to make this body fine. It's a waste on living on this planet. It's better to pack up. Why are we here if we cannot realign this body? See the designer, see if you are, all of you are, how many of you are into technology, tech, high tech, IT, okay. See if you do produce a product, something very externally beautiful, don't you want to know the user experience? Yes? You make an interface so that you gather the user experience. Yes, same way, the designer is interested what is the end effect of the design? What have we done with that instrument? We don't even use 8 to 10% of this body's power. Isn't that a shame? That the designer is upset with us. What are you doing? You're not taking care of the instrument I've given you. It is meant to be a phenomenal, powerful, profound instrument. We are not unraveling it. And we are just tied down by limitation. Somebody told us it is okay to be sick. It's okay to be depressed. It's okay to just feel bad for a little while. All of us go through it. So we are consoling each other that ordinariness is okay. While the designer says, I gave you so much. Can we use a brain power? You know what power of this brain? First remember this. The electromagnetic field that this body radiates is called biophotonic transmission. Have you heard of this before? Biophotonic transmission, that means whether you believe it or not, whether you're an atheist, whether you are a non-believer, your body will radiate some energy which passes across this earth and, and in, across the cosmic dimensions. 
This is called biophotonic transmission. All of us are radiating it, whether you believe it or not. And this powerful electromagnetic field is faster than speed of light. Did you know that? That means you are sitting here right now, you could send a transmission to your friend at the speed faster than light. That's why it's called God speed. Mano Vega, that's the Sanskrit name for it. Now, we are fine, but how do we actually realize that it is possible? Unless you purify, all this talk looks very, very, very filmy, trashy. Oh, he said something very esoteric. I don't think it's for us. We would better be happy in a bar. <laughs> Most of us tend to dumb ourselves because we think, how many of you feel that you're ordinary? Tell me. Ordinary? Yes? Ordinary. What is the meaning of ordinary? Just a body. Just a body? You know, in mathematics, there is something called LCD. Lowest common denominator. denominator. That means you are standing so far away from that traffic light, you can't even see the traffic light anymore. Somebody is moving forward, you also move forward. That's all. That's what ordinary means. You don't can't see anything. Somebody is moving forward, you also go behind just like that, trailing behind. We are all become followers, but not leaders. Can you lead the way? That means the instrument has to awaken its inner eye. The master inside has gone to comatose. Deep comatose. We think we are awake. Really awake. Eyes are open but inside slept. Because we are not able to grasp. See the difference between listening, hearing, active listening and grasping. Active listeners are internalizing. They are getting smart enough. They are reorganizing their brain flow. Understand? They are making new neuron pathways. They are storing it as reference. They will never forget it. But a grasp is straight full on. Boom! They are on. One word is enough. I will give an example to you. Many years ago, I was in my brother's home just doing limbering around. Suddenly on the radio channel, I heard Sati Sai Baba's in between his Telugu commentary, suddenly uttered three words. He said, constant integrated awareness. I was hit by those words as if like an explosion in my heart. I cried. These are the most three important words in my life. Constant integrated awareness. If you can understand these three words, you're on. When you say consistent, how can you be depressed anymore? The same force that designed you for bliss, can you make you depressed all the time? Your ordinariness is depression. Your super ordinariness is bliss. What is super ordinariness? You will not grow horns. You are just beautiful inside. So beautiful inside, it's impossible for you to depress again. That's because something clicked inside. What is that? That click is called integration. The whole body came together as one unit of light. And that is so profound. One unit of light, that's all we are, my friend. From the projector beam, one light has passed. We are just one dot of light. If you think you are a big body, re-look at yourself. This is just, the whole body is projected out of one single atom. One unit of light. It has become this imagery. This is just a thin film. Just a film hanging around us. What yoga do you need to do make the film better? The matter is that we have stored toxins. We have stored poisons. An instrument that is free. I recently went for, according to my friend here, she said, let's do hydrocolone therapy for you. I said, okay. Colon hydrotherapy. Yeah, colon hydrotherapy. I went for that. The lady said, there's nothing more to clean for you. He said, nothing is coming 